Hello YouTube, this is Red Roost 80. This is my puzzle collection. I got a new lamp. Well, it's kind of old. This is in my basement. Um, so I will be doing a better puzzle collection video. Plus, half of my old video with my Q-Octahedron. So, now you guys can see my collection more clearly. So, let's begin. On the top is my pyramid. Turns really good from Cube for You. Blindfold. V Cube 5. V Cube 6. V Cube 7, which I just recently solved. My Scube. Turns pretty cool. Um, sometimes it pops, so I tend not to do it that fast. My timer. Down here is my 15 puzzle. It's a mini one. I use two magnets to hold it so that it doesn't get all messed up. Octagonal prism. A cube octahedron. My Ishin 2x2, which I need a stand for because paper doesn't really work out for stands very well. Um, my mirror blocks, my gold mirror blocks, I lubricated it, um, this top layer, I could never normally turn this quick, I'd have to use a lot of force, because the nail was in crooked, or the rivet, Yankee, 3 by 3 my windmill cube, my one by one, two by er uh, one by two, and one by one by three. This cube just has my camp logo on it, and the Rubik's logo is on the yellow side. It turns okay. My square one, transparent. One of the best turning puzzles I have. My Megaminx, my MF8 Megaminx, sorry. Um, I just modded it, so it turns pretty good, and the pieces don't pop. Uh, that side's not too well. I might have to loosen that a little. But I mean, I don't have to worry about pops anymore, thanks to Kickflip 1993's video. This is just an origami cube thing I made. Um, hang on, how am I gonna do this? It forms to like a 3x3x1 three by three by looking thing. And then it goes to like a diamond looking thing. It's pretty cool. My void cube, which recently one of the notches on this corner where my thumb is, the red black and blue corner broke so I have to handle it with care in the back speed solving the cube it's got like every algorithm it's got definitions and stuff websites to buy cubes materials and different methods it's got patterns It's got solutions from a three by from a two by two all the way up to a five by five. On the bottom is my Rubik's mini two by two. Um, one of the core pieces broke a little bit, so it tends to pop. Um, this is just like a billiards game I have. And yes, it's solved. It goes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down. Um. So yeah, it's just a sliding puzzle. My Rubik's brand 4x4 with smooth tiles from, uh, whatchamacallit, Cubesmith. This cube is so loose, I can just pop out. Uh, where is it? I used to be able to just pop out any piece. Doesn't want to pop today. 
someone took on my Washington, D.C. trip, field trip for school. Someone took my white 3x3, my white DIY 3x3 Type A from Cube for You with smooth Cube Smith tiles. So, I don't have that anymore. But I plan to make a $70 Cube for You order soon. These were the cog puzzles I was talking about. And I finally solved it. And if I want to take it apart again, I just pull out this blue pin. Because there's a little ridge in it that this orange notch sits in. Which keeps it all together. Um, I had to crazy glue one piece because I couldn't get it to hold while I built up the rest of it. It looks kind of like a Rubik's core because there's two on this side, there's two on this side, and there's two on this side. So it's like a 3D cross. This is my four-dimensional clownfish. Um, you can take it apart. they like a billion pieces. Um, my Rubik's snake, it broke. This is my Rubik's 5x5. Five five. Very heavy compared to the V-Cube. If you're gonna buy a 5x5, five five, buy the V-Cube. It might be like $10 more, but it's worth it. This thing locks up. Mine pops a lot. Um, it turns really smooth, though, because I must have over-lubricated it. So, don't buy Rubik's, get V-Cube. I'm making a mod out of that. And I might buy another Rubik's 4x4 to mod that. I'm going to make a cube octahedron family, and then I'm going to make a uh, octagonal prism 4x4 and 5x5. This is probably one of the smallest 3x3s you will ever see. You can practically fit into the Rubik's Revolution hole. Um, I could take apart my void cube and stick this in there. That's how small it is. Um, here is just a bowling ball and bowling pin wooden puzzle. In the back is the lineup. You need to just get the uh, marbles all lined up in there. It's pretty hard. In the back is just a bunch of solutions that came with the cube scrape right blades from Cubesmith, extra Cubesmith stickers, extra parts. Anything you need is in there for all your Rubik's cubing needs. Just some Chinese looking. Gold mirror block solution. And then I just have a, uh, hang on, let me fix the lighting a little bit. I just have like a uh, dragon puzzle in the back. A wooden dragon puzzle. I'm not going to take it out of the box because if you take it out, it falls apart because it's quite large. Um,. Yeah, oh wow, that's what she said. <laughs> oh well, forget it. Um, but that is my puzzle collection. And I just recently put up in my room, because of my V-cubes, I put up the little information thing. Just giving some general information about the V-Cubes. What all their parts are. V-Cube 6 saying there's a clicking mechanism. All the V-Cube 6 parts. V-Cube 7 information. All the V-Cube 7 pieces. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. My puzzle collection. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Alright, that's it. Um, I might not be making many videos.